guys, it has been forever and I apologise for that. I've done it again and we've lost some footage. I've had lots of software problems so I had to try and figure out a new recording software and, and it just, it's been crazy trying to figure out something new whilst trying to build and just deal with life. So I am really sorry for that. There's a lot of the external that you don't see and you also basically completely miss it all so i am sorry it's been a stressful one this build i've had 20 million stroppy moments with it and somehow i managed to persevere and get over myself that was the hardest part of this build was getting over myself and getting it done so i do apologize it has been forever since I've put any videos up and still building, maybe at a very slow rate. So welcome to a Sims 4 version of Heather Castle. feel like I need a little round of applause there just because it has been forever. So with the exterior, there is lots of plants and things which I absolutely love doing. That was one area I did not struggle with. Hooray! Anyway. I chose very differently to what I would normally do when using ivy. When it comes to using ivy, I tend to stick one with one colour and I didn't this time and I'm actually like so shocked at how good it can look. But that was also literally hours of work. When it comes to the interior, much of what you see is the results of the castle almost lost my words, being restored by William Waldorf Astor, who used his money to extend the castle in the early 20th century. All of the interior rooms that I managed to recreate, I found through a virtual tour, like 360, of all the rooms that you will see pictures of, and there is a link that follows at the end if you're interested in seeing it. I, it was amazing, like it made it so easy to recreate. The gardens and the exterior were pictures of Google, just because that's where I could find them. So I moved straight on to the garden, which is my favourite part. So as you may well know, if you've watched lots of these videos and if not no worries I just enjoy green stuff please do not take that in the wrong way but if you do then no worries because I know many people that will be sitting here laughing at me right now anyway this little area here I done it and I had a picture of it and then I lost that picture so just another one of those things and I'm not even sure anymore if it's a part of Heather Castle the rest of the garden definitely is but this little fountain area that kind of leads as an entrance onto the the maze i don't actually know what happened apart from it's like i did see a picture of it it was the same maze it must be there and yet all the pictures i have exclude it so i don't have a clue what happened i may have just been imagining things or you know, just had a bit of baby brain and just looked at a picture and I was like, oh, that's pretty, let's just add it here. And, you know, that really wouldn't surprise me. Trying to get these circular shapes with the hedges was crazy insane and very much impossible. Like, as you can see, I tried recreating it by having the same corner and putting over and round it and copying it. And it still just looks wrong and I had to redo it anyway, so that's all good. This part definitely is in in pictures and as I said, I've, I've lost them all when I tried to refine them and it just went a nice English way of saying it is tits up. It went tits up if you understand that and if not, it then all wrong. It went all wrong. But the tits up is what naturally came to me. Just that's what was in my head. So all of this is theoretically, as you can see hopefully on the picture, which is very elongated and in your face, that this is actually part of what's there. I noticed a lot later on, 
when I add in lots of um forgot what they were called archways that this actually curls around the back and comes back round to the maze so I put sort of half of it on and then I didn't have the space so we don't have it coming the whole way around unfortunately but I did squeeze it in there so we go on very quickly just randomly adding trees and things just because I completely forgot and didn't look at things this second part as you can see with the weird diagonal this is a part that I really tried to recreate and I'm actually quite impressed with my little bushes that you'll see in a minute they're kind of like got sort of statuesque people so this ended up as a great way to bring out the larders basically which is basically just decoration in the bushes or hedges of kind of like statues so this gave me an excuse to bring out the llama hedges that we have and I think I also use I'm saying I think because this feels like forever guy there we go there they are the elephants as well and this was one of those moments where you just sort of think to yourself like I am so incredibly awesome and silly that it's it's just perfect so that was like my eureka moment that actually this is so stupidly awesome that it has to be done so this little area here i went crazy with chess boards as kind of like a filler for areas and it wasn't until i started editing the video that i realized so this is one of those areas i wanted to have a reason to come into this part of the garden because who doesn't want to see the amazing llama bushes and this was like the very first of i think about two no more than that at least three different chess areas where i just basically make something pretty and other chess boarding so the sims can go there and maybe maybe i should have stuck with that easel at the beginning there maybe that would have been a slightly better idea so completely missed that but uh, just behind it there is uh, another area is very basic and simple that is of flowers etc and so I changed this into an area for the barbecue and for chilling basically and we have very quickly more than I can keep up with apparently moved on to the library right at the beginning of doing this room I went straight in for the bookcases and they kind of pull forward ever so slightly I really wanted to have this in the, my build I feel a bit silly to be honest it's something so simple but to me it makes a big difference saying this is what this room is there's a lot of sort of pink in this room and there's a few other colors sort of mixed in and I found when doing one of the other rooms as well which has the piano in there is such a mismatch of different colours that I didn't know what to do so I just followed it. We had green chairs, we had blue chairs and then we had cream and I just kind of literally followed it as much as I possibly could. You may notice in a minute the sizes suddenly change. There really was no point showing this. I literally spent ages making everything two side like two squares longer so it goes from front to back just so i can make the next room the right sort of shape it should have been a lot more elongated than it was and that room's known as the morning room and it's really skinny and as you can tell we've actually moved on to it now and this room it wasn't necessarily the most creative room and i think this is what i miss with this that quite a lot of the rooms that i done there were details i wanted to add and i couldn't figure out how i feel like i'm a little bit out of touch at the moment but this room has been made bigger and you can imagine going up all those floors making every single one just that little bit bigger it was a little bit frustrating but then i also had to do this later as well and move the whole thing so it went to the left 
by two blocks as well so that took forever and then you know you end up with rooms overlapping and then getting confused and then then the the uh what's it called the roofing wasn't adding up and everything got a little bit hectic at points where i was like why am i doing this so anyway that's our little morning room that was a nice quick one to do moving on to the hallway and most of the downstairs rooms except for three of them i believe are literally full-on recreations and then from there i unfortunately only have two bedrooms one of which sadly is not the room of Anne Boleyn, which was a disappointment i couldn't find it anywhere the only image i could find that i could definitely say this was her room literally just had like a, a wooden engraving that just literally said Bolin on it so that could be a room that exists but there aren't any pictures and maybe there's a reason for that so doing a little bit of crazy moving here I apparently did not get rid of it this time so this is half of the moving along and shifting everything and I took just to realise it, depending on which way you look at it, it's either moving to the left or the right, and I can't remember which way it was. But we got there, and everything's certainly moving from one side to the other. At the back of this build, which I should have probably mentioned before, there is a bridge, which is actually meant to be a hallway, and this hallway kind of leads to a whole second part of the build. And this part of the build is a bed and breakfast, I believe now. I don't know whether this was added much later or much earlier, but it was added and it was something that I was being very ambitious about when I first started looking at this and wanting to add the whole thing in. There just wouldn't have been impossible. You would literally have like a room that would be maybe six squares if I was lucky, so one of my biggest drops was that I couldn't do the whole thing and I really wanted to do the whole thing which now I look back at it that was a little bit over the top the amount that went into just doing this part of the castle it was certainly one of my slightly more crazy moments so I'm moving on to the dining area this is one of my favorite areas not necessarily because of the dining room but because of above it the two rooms this one and the next one and I forgot what it was actually called if some sort of parlor or something I don't know because it's been so long doing this build I kind of feel like I've lost half of what everything was meant to be but anyway I like this sort of little hallway that the stairs go up through on the other side and it kind of just looks out basically that was it I was happy that there was an area that looked out down below, mostly because it meant I didn't have to figure out more rooms to put above it. So there's got a quick glance of what I was talking about as you went up a floor and then we came back down again. This area currently doing this little one, like I said, oh, there we go. That's two, two chess boards. I am actually counting this just so you're aware I am counting how many I have done so this area I tried to recreate as much as possible but then again it was just another sitting area so I turned it into a bar area using the realm of magic bar and counters and I kind of just went from there you may notice one of the biggest flaws of this room is that the panelling is a lot lighter than perhaps what it should be in the pictures it is dark it's brown it's like seriously wood paneling but at this point by the time i got this far there was only so far i could go with that it was already in two three rooms i believe and i just wanted something different the same with this room here as much as it literally looks the same as the other room because we've got that darker bottom bit I do know what I'm saying I'm just getting confused but anyway so when it comes to the walls I sort of put my ideas out there a little bit more so it wasn't necessarily perfect 
And as you can see, this is the room I was talking about with all the different colours just incorporated. And a part of me hates the idea because it's not all coordinated, but I actually love it. So we've got our little gallery uppy thingy, yeah, because that made sense. And this is the area that I absolutely fell in love with. I turned it into a little display area here on one side and on the other side you had the stairs coming up. And I uh, hopefully in that really tiny picture in the corner you may have noticed that there was like a little archway and there was definitely a wall up there. So that's how I kind of got the design of up the top. But whether that is actually accurate or not, I cannot guarantee. So we go on to this little room, and this room actually leads to the bridge. It leads to the bridge with a door, and then I've got an archway the other side. We actually drop down to the basement, because there is one room where I didn't have a clue where it was. There was no evidence of it being anywhere, and I didn't want to put it the other side by the gatehouse. I mean... Who's going to literally walk through a courtyard or all the way around the building just to eat? So I used this second room. So hopefully that means that The Sims will actually use the dining room as it's meant to be. So we've moved on literally right to the other side of the build to the last two rooms that haven't been used yet. And straight away gone in with a bathroom. There is a smaller bathroom on the other side. But just this build needs like a million bathrooms. It's huge. By the time you got to one side of the building, it would have probably would have had a lot of Sims accidents. So the gatehouse is now this area. There was a picture for it, but it literally just show a oh my gosh, statue of armor. I can't believe that I forgot what that is. Um but yeah, so basically I <laughs> put it in the little games room here, just a nice little place to chill. Didn't want to overdo it, stuck with a red theme, which is pretty damn obvious. So that little run around was me going crazy, adding lots of rooms to the second floor. And we have got number three. We now have three chess boards, ladies and gentlemen, in one build. On the upside, at least it's on a different floor this time. So it does turn out that there are pictures of either, I actually think it's both, of both hallways, which I did not do. Because I found them after I had actually built them and I looked at it and I was like, do I want to or do I not? And I chose the lazy room, so I do apologise for that. This room is one of the rooms that we could actually recreate. And this was supposedly meant to be, according to the website. <laughs> it's believed that Henry VIII stayed at the castle in this room. And this was his bedchamber during his courtship of Anne Boleyn. I like this room, it's a little bit darker. It doesn't utilize some of those really bold blues and reds that you've been seeing everywhere else and I like the use of the green sort of curtains I tried to I fell in love with the bed it just had so much decoration on it so I tried to add that on and I wouldn't say it was a, I wouldn't say it was a success but I kind of like those extra little details that I added I couldn't just leave it as it is the way I made this into a four poster bed is by going into the sculptures and in the sculptures there is an L shaped sculpture and I've completely forgot what it was called but I basically placed these together around the bed using BB move objects so I can merge it in and that's it voila then I add the curtains and I do apologise that I don't know the names of these things, etc. By the time I've actually built these recreations and gotten around to this part, I, literally that was maybe two weeks ago, this part. <laughs> so I do apologise. This room right here with all of this beautiful red on it is the Waldegrave room. And it was basically the Catholic... Waldegrave family owned Hever Castle. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, so I do apologise. 
from 1557 until 1915 and the extra area which was added that has sort of like the little room it was added by Edward Waldegrave or Sir Edward Waldegrave should I say so he could practice his faith in secret and the name of this room is actually an oratory I said that really weirdly because I was reading it and I was like I'm really rubbish at reading so I do apologise so that is unfortunately the only two bedrooms I managed to recreate from here on is all kind of just taking what I've learned from the rest of this build from recreating things and trying to put them with my own ideas so we go crazy with this bathroom over here I don't know where this idea came from with all the archways but this room was huge I was like I need a bathroom on this floor I can't just not have it so we have a huge bathroom and by putting this wall in between that was my way of making it seem like it was smaller than it actually is and then we go across to a bedroom which is pretty much the same size as the bathroom and it seems ridiculously cluttered by the time it's finished so it's one of those where there just doesn't seem to be a nice medium so I do try to mix things up to a certain degree like use different colors or different type wallpaper and kind of try and put what's already in the build but add a bit more to it hence all of that gold in that last room just to really be like out there and this is actually different this whole build is not the same but at the same time I, I needed to keep it in with what the rest of the build was like luckily I've done what I feel like is billions of these recreations that I've learned a lot in the way but at the same time they do get very samey with this room here where we have the organ it is completely out there to the rest of the build and I just absolutely love the red tones that are there especially the vampire flooring from the vampire pack it's not vampire flooring but anyway <laughs> like I literally I fall in love with that floor and it's bright red and I never know what to do with it which is why I went with all the black and sort of darker tones and it kind of came together a lot better than I thought it would but at the same time I kind of feel like it might be a little bit too modern with all of that dark colouring as well especially as through the whole of this build we stick with more lighter tones than there actually is so finally on the last floor not the last technically no there is still another one but just want to bring your attention to the tiny tiny hallway I mean I don't know what happened when I was thinking about building these rooms was I just being lazy and thinking no we'll just make it smaller we'll make it functional and that will do and by the time I finished some of these rooms I'm looking at them and I'm like I'm actually really struggling to put things in they're very long and narrow so I end up actually creating a bigger hallway and extending these rooms outwards and it actually worked pretty well it added a bit more space but the objects that I had already managed to squeeze in actually seemed to go well still and just create that little bit more space so that room with the green is like officially the one colour I was looking at and I was like what do I not have and I was like I don't have green I don't have a nice bright green so that was it and I was like I'm gonna make a a study that's not necessarily something we have we have the library downstairs but have a room specifically for the study and voila basically as I've said you now see that I've actually realised that I can utilise the space a lot better there is and then also suddenly we get so much extra space just by me utilising what was there 
and this twin room I just looks like so empty even though I was really struggling to fit anything in it before so with a lot of extra decoration and some seats a little fireplace it, it kind of just spruces it up and it sticks a lot better with what was there before going to add another twin room I don't know why I decided that these two were just going to be two single beds but that's just how it happened I think there were so many double beds in every room until now that it kind of felt like that was missing a bit too these could easily just add some toys in and you can make it into children's rooms if if you wanted to and we go on to the hallway a very basic design with the same as the others the chairs the seating areas and then all the decoration it's all about the decoration in the hallways we also move on to the last room which is the bathroom on this side and it's very basic it's just a bathroom nothing i'm particularly proud over and we move over to the other side after this as well and it's just like a giant room it only leads up from one side so there's only one access point from the stairs on the other side of the building directly above it and this build build this room kind of wanted it to be quite dark and dingy i wanted it to be random it's like a, a storage space for all the antiques that currently aren't being displayed so thank you very much for watching there will be some links up in a minute from where i got my information and also where the pictures are taken from definitely take a look at them especially at the 3d virtual tour that but most importantly Stay awesome, be kind to each other and have an amazing day.